The four highest titles in all Samoa traced through female ancestral connections once came under the rule and authority of another woman descended from the Nafanua line. Salama Sina in the 15th century was the holder of all the four Te Whaiwha titles. Her reign marked a significant period in Samoa's history, establishing 60 years of peace and a new sense of social order. Most significant were the bloodlines that Salama Sina embodied. Her succession to the holder of the four paramount titles in Samoa was the result of complex manoeuvring behind the throne even before her birth. Salama Sina's adoptive grandmother Soe Malelangi put into place the first mechanisms to make Salama Sina tupu or Samoa, the ruler of all Samoa. I'm quite sure, you know, one day she suddenly saw, this is it. This is the girl who can bring Samoa together. And uh, not only that she acquire and she maneuver, a lot was done behind the line, maneuver people to give her daughter the, remember what was it, Tuya, I know Tuya too. There was one um, district who came to offer her the title, but they said, Leai, give it to my granddaughter. Because those people didn't realize that she was that she had vision, she had uh, started planning, and then uh, she even remarried, married another, yeah, that tour, the Tuya tour, so that the title could uh, be brought to uh, the Salamasina as the first Tafaifa. And if you look at it, that was not only the first Tafaifa, but the first effective reign. Salamasina's mother, Vaituifanga one of the ten wives of the chief Tuya Anna Tamalilangi, was a royal descendant of the Tuitonga. A child from this union would be a threat to all the other wives and their families. So when she fell pregnant, Vaiatuefanga sought refuge with her Tongan supporters in the village of Nofoali'i, where today this whale stands in her honour. Now the reason why this residence is named the Afiafi of Vaiatuefanga is that when she conceived... This caused ripples because every, all the other ten marriages were eyeing the top slot. But because of the credentials, the genealogical credentials, everybody expected that if she, if she were to bore a child, then in all likelihood she would succeed. And seeing, you know, the menace on the frets in looks and behavior, she ran off at night and came to where her family were. I think she was important because she united Upolu, this island, and Savai in one person, so to speak. And I think she also perhaps united Samoa as a people and Tonga. Uh, connect the, the royal lineages of, of two societies. <laughs>